What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about gas shielded flux core, uh, also known as dual shield. And there's some distinct advantages to this process. That's why you're seeing a lot of manufacturers go to uh, gas shielded flux core rather than like uh, solid wire MIG welding. And so we'll talk about that today, show you some of the advantages and then do a quick demonstration of just a horizontal fillet weld using gas shielded flux core. All right, so when we're talking about the flux core arc welding process, we have exactly that. We have a flux cord arc welding electrode, wire electrode, right? So on the inside of the electrode, we have uh, flux, which is gonna provide the shielding for the weld pool. Now there's two different types of this, of this process. There's a gas shielded flux core, and then there's a self shielded flux core. So when we're talking about self-shielded flux core, there's a couple different types of wires. There's actually tons of different types of wires out there, but um, we typically see like NR232 wire um, would be a very, very common uh, welding wire for structural applications, typically used in the field. Um, we have some other types of wires like NR211, um, which have uh, different thickness limitations. And those are used quite a bit in like the ornamental iron industry and just um, all around can be used at, you know, for home applications. And those are great because you don't have to spend the money on the, on the um, shielding gas. Uh, you know, the, all, that, um, all the shielding for the weld pools provided by the, the flux on the inside of the wire. But then when we get to FCAWG, that is a gas shielded flux core arc welding process. And that gives us two different sources of shielding, of purification of the weld, and really gives us some, some great properties uh, to the weld. But because of that gas shielding, it's more limited to um, uh, you know, shop applications where wind isn't gonna be an issue and, and things like that. So why does, uh, why would uh, someone choose flux core, uh, gas shielded flux core over a, um, you know, traditional GMAW type process that's also gas shielded? Well, a lot of that has to do with um, current density and just overall the, um, the benefits of flux core arc welding. So we, we tend to get higher deposition rates with flux core arc welding because of current density. So if we look at the cross section of the, of the two wires here, it kind of makes sense, right? At any given current or amperage, uh, we're going to get a lot more current density on this outside shell of the filler metal itself than in a solid wire. So this leads to higher deposition rates, just faster melting times, and overall typically better um, mechanical performance of a weld. And we see that, um, you know, if you, if you were to do macro etch testing on solid wire versus flux core, or even we see this just in fabrication, um, you see it with like tack welding um, and things like that, where you'll see that your tack welds are a lot stronger, uh, a lot harder to get off if you make a mistake and that sort of thing um, with flux core than um, solid wire make. All right, so now let's take a look at some welds. All right, so we're just going to do a horizontal T-joint. And uh, I wanted to talk about the um, angles that we're going to be using and the stick out and stuff like that. So a, a typical stick out for gas shielded flux core is about three quarters of an inch. And uh, whenever we're um, welding with flux core, we're typically using a drag angle. So our drag angle to the, the workpiece is just gonna be about 20 degrees over, and we're gonna drag that weld pool behind as we go. Okay, our um, electrode angle is gonna be about 45 degrees to the workpiece. Okay, so we're just gonna let that weld pool fill up, and we're just gonna try to keep a nice consistent travel speed. And you'll find that for arc welding, gas shielded flux core arc welding, is uh, pretty user friendly. Once you get the hang of getting that weld pool to the size that you want and a good profile, um, it, it is, can be pretty easy to get a very good um, consistent looking weld.
Okay, we're welding on 3 8 plate today, and we're doing a simple 2F horizontal fillet weld. And we're using 045 uh, diameter filler metal. So the manufacturer's recommended settings for that is 23.8 volts, 350 wire feed speed. And that's with 100% CO2 shielding gas. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, so you see we have this nice big fillet weld, like butter, right? Um, so we can get lots of deposition in a single pass, but then if we needed to go larger, we can do multi-pass, and I'll show you how to do that. So with multi-pass, we're gonna change our electrode angle a little bit. So now we're gonna point more towards the toe of the, of the bead, and we're gonna bring our electrode angle up slightly and we're gonna build from the bottom first to the top. So we're gonna put a pass all the way across the bottom here, and then we're gonna stack up on top of that, and we're gonna bring our electrode angle down and put another pass on top to overall achieve a larger weld size. Okay, so now for this top pass, the third pass, we're gonna bring our angle down just slightly. So we're gonna point more towards that top toe of the original weld, and our uh, angle, our electrode angle will be slightly down more. Okay, here we go. All right, so there you have it. That's gas shielded flux core, a multi-pass fillet weld, and a single pass fillet weld. And you can see it gives you this really, really smooth, nice looking beads, and it really is quite user friendly. Um, I have a lot of arc time with this. Um, when I was working as a welder, uh, we used it quite a bit, so I have a lot of muscle memory built up, but you'll see that um, with very little skill that you can get um, some really acceptable looking beads very, very quickly with this process. And it produces very, very high quality, strong welds. So uh, if you're not already using gas shielded flux core in your manufacturing process, it may be a very good choice for you. All right, we'll see you on the next video.